Hello everyone. Welcome to Nancy Reads. Today we are reading The Runaway Pea by Jarton Posgit and Alex Wilmore. Can you find the pea? Peekaboo. The Runaway Pea. It's six o'clock and we are ready for tea. But look, what's that? It's a runaway pea. He pinged off the plate with incredible force. Then slipped and went splat in a puddle of sauce. The carrots and beans were all laughing with glee. <laughs> you didn't get far, you piddling pea. Just watch, said the pea. I have hardly begun. I might only be small, but I want to have fun. The pea shot away with a skip and a hop. Then into the dog bowl he fell with a plop. Climb little pea, climb up the side, quick, before Boris's mouth opens wide. The runaway pea jumped amazingly high and so nearly landed in Boris's eye. He rolled along Boris's back in a flash. But a flick of the tail sent him flying off. Splash! Where am I? He wondered. His head really hurt. Get out of my tank, said Adele with the squirt. <laughs> he fell on a mouse trap, which snapped with a bang and bounced off a cobweb that stretched and went. Twang. He came to a rest on a high dusty shelf. So far so good, smiled the pea to himself. Surely there's nothing else left to go wrong? Then a fan started up and it blew him along. And what's that blue with an orangey glow? It's the slot in the top of the toaster. Oh no! In the pea fell, unable to stop. Then the toaster pinged up with an almighty pop. cried the pea, my bottom's on fire. Oh no, as he flew straight on into the tumbling dryer. Buffered and battered and bounced all about. The pea was so glad when he was finally out. He collapsed on a shirt that had newly been washed. 
Look out, little pea, or you're going to get squashed. He tumbled and rolled along, out of control. Under the fridge to a dark, sticky hole. Too weary to move, he just let out a groan. Then got a strange feeling he wasn't alone. Out of the gloom came mysterious shapes. A dried up banana and two moldy grapes. Oh dear, said the bee, what happened to you? We were naughty, they said. We all ran away too. We don't recommend it, they whimpered quite sadly. You will get old and wrinkled and start to smell badly. I have changed my mind, said the runaway pea. I'll get back on the plate and be ready for tea. You won't, said the grapes, cause you have been on the floor. Runaway pea, you are not loved anymore. The little pea trembled. He knew it was true. There was nowhere to go for him, nothing to do. Helpless and hopeless and feeling forlorn, his tired eyes closed and he gave a big yawn. <sighs> but a magic thing happened while he was asleep. He woke up beside the recycling heap. The soil was soft and the weather was sunny. And soon the pea started to feel a bit funny. Under the ground he was sprouting some roots. And out of his top, he was shooting out shoots. The shoots all had parts, and inside everyone was a party of new peas. Yay! All bursting with fun. Yay! So, if you should ever hear pop, ping, or splat, or a splash in the sink, or a yo from the cat, or a rapidity tap in the cupboard, then please don't panic. It's only those runaway peas. Yay! That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.